eat their heads and gain that power. She goes from being nice to threatening to sexual <laughs> to, to a bunch of different fucking modes on a whim. All right, what's up, everybody? Here we are back again for episode two of Spice and Wolf. Yeah, so I actually watched the first episode just a couple of days back. Definitely gave me a really good first impression and uh, I've kind of been longing for more ever since. I also, you know, I enjoyed the, uh, well, the general reception that I got in the comments. You know, people seem to be very excited about the fact that I'm watching this show. And also I noticed that there's a lot of super fans of this series in general. I don't know if that's like necessarily because of the previous anime that was made that, you know, got canceled after two seasons, I think. Or if it is because of its like source material, which I'm not sure what it is, could be a manga or a light novel, but um, I got told a couple of like, you know, quick facts, I guess, about, uh, yeah, about the storyline and everything. And then apparently like, oh, it's really gonna go deep in on like economics and things like that, which is actually interesting to think about. I mean, I myself have personally been trying to get more involved with that, you know, side of uh, knowledge <laughs> in general. And so uh, I'm already like excited about that. I can see, of course, how it will, because we're dealing with a merchant character with Kraft Lawrence. So, you know, selling stuff to people is obviously what he's going to be mostly concerned about. And we're going to see how Holo then sort of plays into that. Obviously, right now they have a very interesting dynamic going on where, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, like Kraft Lawrence himself is not really too sure how to deal with Holo yet. Holo is a very feisty character, very out there and um, doesn't seem to give a crap most of the time, right? But at the same time, she's of course a, a god and that's what Kraft Lawrence right now, he's not even sure if she actually is. I think by now, well, actually he should be sure because she's literally shown him her uh, god form, right? She turned into a massive wolf, I'm pretty sure, and we didn't get to see it as the audience, but uh, no doubt in my mind that we are still going to see that uh, that form at some point down the line and that's going to be a huge moment when it happens no doubt right so i'm already looking forward to that but yeah as i said i like their dynamic a lot it's still a little bit hard to tell where this is all, all like gonna go from here on out i guess right the one thing that we're kind of being told is that you know the age of of holo as the god of harvest i guess is kind of starting to pass right you've got a lot of these regular civilians these farmers i guess who are not necessarily putting their trust in the in the god as much anymore. And so they mentioned that there was this different count, Aaron Dot, I think, who came in and ever since all their harvests have been great. He's he's al allowed them to, I guess, like explore new methods or whatever, which have been very fruitful for them. And so, yeah, they're kind of stepping off of their religion, I guess, right? And so what is that ultimately going to mean? I mean, like, is Holo going to be how is she going to feel about that all that she's been saying is like oh yeah i want to go up north and i guess up north is kind of this this town of of yoitsu i think she called it or if i don't know if it's like a town or a country or whatever but um it's some place up in the north i'm pretty sure because that's what she mentioned afterwards where she wants us to go for what reason though i have no idea also of course in the in the opening segment it was mentioned how holo was seen as this wolf that did good for the people and you know, again, I mean, that could be referring to what's already happened at this point, but it could also be referring to what Holo is going to continue to do now and how she's going to try and get get the religion back to the people, if you get what I'm saying, right? That she's going to up her reputation again or she's going to prove herself in physical form this time around to the people. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of speculation right now, obviously, where this could all be heading. All that I'm saying really is like, there's just a lot of potential. Also, apparently, the one last thing I should say is that I think what people mention is that like the very opening scene that we saw in the first episode where the mom was kind of telling the kid about this story of Holo, right? It was more meant to be like a nod to fans of the original show. Like, okay, yeah, this is the story. And how is it going to end? We'll tell you this time because obviously last time around, unfortunately, the anime was canceled. And so apparently that's kind of what it was sort of, it was like a nice little nod to, you know, fans of the original show who never got to see the storyline finished. Now this time around, Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, uh, we are going to see this through all the way. I think I also heard, but I could be wrong about it, that we're going to get like a full 25 episode season or something for this one, which should basically cover all the stuff that the previous anime already covered. So 
if that's the case and if this will do well enough, which I hope it will, um, yeah, then we should be able to, you know, see the whole story hopefully finished, right? Or at least for them to follow up and for us to at least get more material. But that being said, of course, we're all hoping that uh, this show does see, well, the end of the tunnel uh, by the end of it all. But anyway, guys, we're going to dive into this uh, second episode. And of course, if you enjoy my reactions to Spice and Wolf, you'll be able to watch the full length reactions every week over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check it out. On the lowest tier, you'll be able to see my reactions to the full episodes uh, week by week. So not just for this, also for Mushka Tensei, of course, season two, which I'm reacting to. I'm still thinking about possibly picking up one or two other new anime that are actually airing uh, this season. So yeah, anyway, make sure you go and join that. Of course, over on Patreon, you can also request me to react to your favorite anime. If that's something you're interested in, then there are tiers for you to check out. Uh, over there as well. But with that being said, let's dive into this second episode. Damn, look at these environments, man. The smoke. I love to live in a place like this. It's kind of uh, giving me some Hobbiton vibes. Oh, I would too on these first. Yep. Uh, oh wow. Yo, is my man starting to try his chances here? She was kind of welcoming of that. A source of pride. The coming of disasters? And catch lies? Ooh. Dangerous coming? Oh, okay, rain. Fair enough. Yeah, honestly, you don't need a nose for that. Just uh, a couple of eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I mean, are we gonna give her a different name then? We're gonna have to come up with one. I was kind of wondering if Kraft Lawrence himself is like religious or if he like believes in these, you know, in the God of Harvest. I guess it's not really relevant to him because he's not a farmer. So the God of Harvest means nothing to him anyway. Oh shit. Back to this form. <laughs> Yo, she is so out there. Thresh? I don't even know what that means. Oh, like get rid of it? Ah, right, because she talked about moving through the wheat, right? <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. Yo, we are both about to get naked in here. Yeah, I realized that. That's like a cat. The fuck? That's I mean, is this like the first time in a long while that she came back in physical form? It was a pretty good excuse that he came up with. Wait, is she saying she actually wants to burn herself now to kind of give credit to the story? That'd be fucking hardcore. Yeah, 
ほぼ同額の麦を売っていたからです。うん。麦の代金を受け取らない代わりに塩の代金も支払いません。お金のやり取りをせず、二つの契約が成立するのです。Yeah, it was just a, a regular trade without the the middle thing, which is money. いろいろろな地方の方を相手に商売する商人たちが発明したものです。知っていた方がいいのでしょうか。He's already learning them the tricks, huh? I guess I could have made more dangers involved. Oh shit, building credits. Oh, so is his. I'm kind of surprised how Holo is managing to stay so quiet, too. Indeed. Oh, God. I don't like this guy's voice at all. Salesman. <laughs> More than half a still monster. Uh, this dude is uh, definitely a monster in the making. Yeah. Already lacking a tooth. I don't know if this is the guy you want to be making friends with. What the f- Dude, what are you asking? You fucking weirdo. Most frightening part of a dog is its bark. Uh, you are not taking that thing off. This dude gives me such bad vibes. I don't know if I'm the only one. I feel like Holo called on straight away. She's probably gonna mention it now. Goat cheese over boiled potatoes. I hate potatoes, but cheese is always good. Wow. Making his demands, but I guess they're fair enough. Hey, I guess Kraft really is a merchant after all, huh? Right, because she loved the alcohol? <laughs> yeah, because again, this is the first time in a long time that she's taking on this human form. And it's uh, coming with its complications, because man, is she hungry? She did. I noticed that, boy, don't worry. <laughs> he's already asking in advance. He knows, he knows that he's going to. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is what I want to know, too. I mean, she's not gonna... She doesn't trust him at all, obviously, just like me. Both monsters in the making. Certain silver coin. Oh. Right, right, right. In other words, what? Are they like. Are they. I don't get that. Why would they replace the currency with one that actually has more silver in it? 
I thought they were going to like scam the people or something, make them believe that, you know, the coins still had the same value. I do remember that they actually brought up in the last episode that Count Arendot provided them with lots of like, you know, well, I don't know. I guess the guy was just showing off his coins and how much money he had made, right? But whatever. Oh, wait, he's saying, I don't get that either. He's saying like, let's, let's save the current coins and then trade them in. But like, are, are people going to be forced to trade them in in the first place already? Like, you know, to, for the new, whatever. どうですね。どの銀貨がそうなるか教えする代わりに旦那が大儲けしたらその儲けの分け前を足にくれるってのは。ええ。あの小僧は嘘をついてると。うーん。何がどう嘘かとか詳しくは分かりません。いや、オッ
Oh, probably because he saw... Okay. He's seen people around him die. By wolves. Wow. Friends, I guess. Okay, and she senses it. Hmm. That's why the theme. Yep. I mean, that, that's actually fair enough. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What are you, what is, what is he saying? Like, she's never been around a human, really. I guess that's what she means, right? She never really seemed the most scared, though, I will say that. Yeah, they're gonna be learning a lot from each other still, that's for sure. Man! Great episode again! Alright guys, well anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course you'll be able to check out the full-length reactions every week over on my Patreon page on the lowest tier, which is going to be linked on top of the description. You can also check out the reaction request tiers if you'd like me to react to your favorite anime, so go and check it out.